Good morning and welcome to Rose Red Homestead Micro Moment Monday, where today we are going to do something that has been requested by a number of people. And that is, we've had so many comments on how I keep my refrigerator so shiny and how do I do it and what do you use to clean your stainless steel? So we're just gonna take a few minutes and go through that. Now, first of all, there are a couple of factors that may not be um, present in every household. And these are disclaimers. So uh, first of all, my refrigerator is new and uh, brand new. We've had it for what, Jim? A couple of months in place, do you think? Something like that. Yeah. And light comes in from our bay windows and it um, reflects off the front of that refrigerator. And then the other thing is I don't have any children or teenagers or any other adults in the house except Jim and me. And so fingerprints are kept to a minimum. Now, my refrigerator is the kind of stainless that is uh, supposed to be almost uh, fingerprint free. And I tried to get some fingerprints and some dirt on it today, and I hope you can see a few of the little smears. We'll have to come closer for that. <laughs> Um, well, it kind of, I was wondering about the reflections. So the reflections are there, but I don't see any fingerprints or smears. Okay. All right. Well, so we'll just go ahead and proceed, and I'll show you. I'll share with you what I do. Now, I have pretty much stainless appliances throughout the kitchen. My microwave and oven are stainless. Um, we're not going to try that today because I have something in the oven, and I don't do it when the oven is in use. Um, and we're also competing with the sound from the oven today. So I'm hoping that I'm talking loud enough that you can hear. Then um, we have this exhaust fan. It's a pull-out fan, which is really nice. Uh, the lights go on and off, and I can turn the fan on here. But it has this stainless steel band. And then I have a stainless steel dishwasher right here. So today, what I'm going to do is demonstrate three different ways and talk about a fourth way. I uh, will demonstrate on this side of the refrigerator, and I'm trying to get fingerprints on there. Oh, I think I got some. And then on this side of the fridge, and then you can see them? I can see them. Okay. Um, and then on the dishwasher. A couple things about stainless steel. Uh, stainless steel can be dented. Uh, thankfully, I don't have any dents in this one. When my other one was brand new, I had a little um, refrigerator magnet that stuck out and I opened the door all the way and it mashed into the side and made a dent on this piece. So I'm very careful now that I'm aware that stainless steel can dent uh, some of it kind of easily, but this is my new refrigerator and I don't think it dents as, as easily. The other thing is that um, stainless steel has a grain to it and you have to look closely. That grain is either going to run this way or this way. Now mine runs this way and you always want to polish with the grain. If you polish against the grain, there's danger of scratching because they can be scratched. And I have to watch my rings um, because that was another thing that I did on my other one. I um, tried to brush something off not knowing my ring kind of hangs around on the back side of my hand and I didn't know that it was there. So when I brushed it off, it made a little arc um, I was able to kind of cover it up, but it was still always there. So we need to be careful about that. <clears throat> there are certainly things that you should never use on stainless steel. Never use um, steel wool on stainless steel. If you have some uh, things that are stuck on there, like bread dough that is hardened, which I have had, then I either just try to pop it off with my um, fingernail going up and not in, or I just um, make sure that I just dampen it until it's soft again and I can get it off. Generally, I simply wipe my refrigerator off with uh, one of these microfiber uh, cloths and um, with a little bit of, that's just damp with water. And it seems to do just fine. But I wanted to talk to you about a couple of, um, of do-it-yourself things you can use and then a couple of products that I buy and I use that I really like. First of all, this is white vinegar water. It is three parts of water and one part vinegar. And, um, and I just 
if especially if I have extra fingerprints on or things are greasy, this cuts oil. And so I will spray a light layer of this white vinegar on and then wipe it with the grain with one of these microfiber cloths. The other do-it-yourself is, uh, which I have tried and I don't use it. I'll tell you about it, but I'm not gonna show it because I don't like it. Um, you can get a sponge or a microfiber cloth wet and put some good quality dishwashing soap like Dawn dishwashing soap on the rag and then you put the soap suds on and then you get a dry one and wipe it off. Well, it takes forever to get that soap off. So um, I don't use that. But if you use it and have made it work for you, then that's just great. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to spray this half with vinegar water and wipe it down. We're going to spray the other half with... Um, uh, well, I'm going to use these wipes. This is Wyman Stainless Steel Wipes. I love these. This and the accompanying Wyman Stainless Steel Cleaner and Polish, which is a spray, I love both of these products a lot. So if water doesn't work for me, I rarely use vinegar, only if it's oily. Um, I generally use these two products. So we're going to do this one on the right-hand side of the refrigerator. I'm going to leave the doors for now because they're way below camera level. And then we're going to bring a light around here and shine it on the dishwasher. My most problematic stainless steel appliance is my dishwasher. It gets water drips down it all the time. And because it's out of my line of sight, it gets neglected. So it really does get pretty grody. And for that one, because it's harder for me to get up and down these days, you all know that I'm pushing 80. And I, so I just use this spray, which is so convenient. And then I can just bend over instead of getting down on hands and knees to do it. So these are the three products that we're going to use. So let's get with it. So here is my dry um, microfiber cloth. So I'm just going to spray a light spray on the door, including inside the water dispenser. And then since mine runs side to side, that's what I'm going to do, just side to side. And it does a beautiful job of getting those oily fingerprints off. Oop. And the handle. And inside here, try not to spray myself with water. And it's done. It's beautiful. All right, then the other side, I'm going to pull a wipe. And it just will take one wipe. And I'm just going to wipe across. done. And if there are a couple of little spots still that are have some residue, I can just gently wipe with this. And that is how I keep my refrigerator clean. Now let's come around and do the dishwasher, which is a mess. It is not as bad as I thought it was. Since it's in the shadow, most of the time it gets neglected. And I remember just a few days ago, I did clean it off. So it has some drips right here. You may be able to see some that go all the way to the bottom and some accumulation of dirt right here. So I'm using the Wellman spray, the Wyman spray. It says stainless steel polish, clean and polish. Okay, and then I'm just using, again, this um, microfiber cloth and going with the grain. The grain runs this way, and all of those spots just immediately disappear. So fingerprints are gone, the spots are gone, the drip downs are gone. It's done. Pretty easy, less than a minute.
for little strips here and around the ovens and the microwave and the oven over there, I, um, I don't use a spray because the spray goes all over the place. And so I would either spray my cloth or I would use um, one of the little wipes. Now this wipe still has plenty on it, so I can just do this and it's very easy to do. Or the other thing that I would do is just use some of this spray, spray a corner of this cloth and do the same thing. And it's done. It takes me all of five minutes to go through all of my stainless appliances and do a quick cleaning of them. And it's so nice to have the bright and shiny stainless steel. Well, it's not the shiny kind, but it is. it just glistens with cleanliness after you get all the fingerprints off. And so this is the quick and easy way that I do my stainless steel. So I hope that this is helpful for you. And thanks for joining us for this very quick micro moment on a Monday.